your schedule is tight, managing your clients, your customers, the comments, the content, all the seeds, right? Conversations, and you're stretching yourself too thin and you know it, but worse, you feel it. And it may even be seeping into your relationships, right? Now you find yourself, maybe you don't have time for your kids or your spouse or your friends, right? Or the clients, the customers, the content, the conversations, all the things. Tonight, learn how we'll be going into how you can prevent the imbalance in what you spend time doing versus what you should be doing so that you are not stretching yourself to this, so that you do not feel overwhelmed with the growth and success of your business, right? Because it starts today. If you keep up this pattern and behavior, it will affect even in the future, right? When you get to the point of reaching your vision. So we're going to all of that and more on tonight's episode of Entrepreneurship is a Marathon with yours truly, Vanessa Zami. May is all about honoring mental health awareness month for business owners. And we have gone through different topics, you know, throughout the month. And it's all around just your mental wellness and your mindset, right? But today we'll be going into even more tactical, strategic next steps into how you can ensure that you go from stretching yourself too thin to, you know, wondering what else to do next, right? There's so much time in the world. So I'm going to be playing this trailer here. So in trailer video here. But while I do that, I want you to type in the comments for those who are watching live, even those watching the replay, right? If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. But for those watching live, what are you finding is taking up the most of your time and energy outside of your day job, right? So what are you finding is taking up the most of your time and energy within your business, right? Not your day job, but something else within your business that's taking up most of your time and energy. So while this video plays, would you type that in the comments and let's get into it. Yes. My name is Vanessa Zami, the best-selling author of Finish, The Solopreneur's Guide to Getting Stuff Done. I'm the creator of the Hustle and Breathe Business Accelerator, through which I consult ambitious nine to fivers like you on how to grow their profit-producing, purpose-driven business without the overwhelm. Your efficiency, your productivity, and profitability so that you can reduce the overwhelm and confusion in your life. You can enjoy your life entrepreneurship is a marathon. And if you've chosen to step into that marathon, hello, welcome back. Welcome back. Yes. My name is Vanessa Zami. And you know, I had this really messy lobster experience this past weekend. Before I go into that though, um, we're going to go into how you avoid stretching yourself thin, too thin, right? In your business. And if you are stretching yourself too thin, you find yourself doing that right now, we'll be actually going into strategies for your growth and three options that you have to get yourself un underwhelmed, does that make sense, right? To underwhelm your overwhelm. And so, hi there, my name is Vanessa Zami, and I am a business consultant, speaker, and best-selling author, as well as the creator of the Hustle and Breathe Business Accelerator, where I work with my clients one-to-one -one into deep diving into their business and really unplugging, unpacking how to make their business more efficient and effective so that they can really optimize the impact and income that they're making, and then calmly transition into full-time entrepreneurship, right? And so tonight, we're going to how to avoid stretching yourself too thin, right? And how do you keep up with all the strategies for growth? Because yes, you're growing. You're, it's amazing, right? Or you're at the pace where you're doing a lot of stuff with your business, and there's a lot of buzz, like, ooh, yeah, I got this, right? And that is great, and that is dandy. That's nice and dandy, right? But you're overwhelmed. Well, and that is the problem. You're overwhelmed making that happen. You're getting to the place where you don't like, you're, you're kind of not liking your business anymore, are you? Right? Your business, you're, you're kind of just like, oh, I don't know what's entrepreneur thing. And you're considering maybe quitting your business. Is what you, that's what you're not going to do, right? That's what you're not going to do, right? The whole point of entrepreneurship is a marathon is to get you to continue moving forward in your business, right? Because that's cute. It's amazing and wonderful that many people have launched and started their business, but we need more people to continue. We need more people to not quit, right? So here are the three options that you have. If you find yourself stretching yourself too thin, you're finding yourself overwhelmed with all the things that your business has to demand, right? You're finding yourself, you're seeing all these strategies, all these things on the web, like do this for growth, do that for the growth, like do this, do this. No, 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 right. Okay, cool. So here are the three options that you have. Refine, reproduce, or reset. Refine, reproduce, or reset. Okay? Okay. So. What do I'm gonna unpack each of these as well for your business, right? So refine. What do I mean by option one? Refine. This is the part where you are really digging deep into your business and really asking yourself: Is everything that you're doing meant to be done? 
right? So refine is essentially when it's sort of like, okay, you're doing all the stuff for your business, but really dig deep into it, right? Let's say you're saying to yourself, you know, I should be doing this. Ask yourself, should I, right? Like, should you, like, should, right? You, right? And then why, why should you? Because the thing that happens with entrepreneurs a lot is that, you know, you are saying, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to do that. I really need to. I need to. I should. I should. I need. I need. I need. I should. I should. Right. But the question you need to ask yourself is, do you need to and should you? Right. And the thing is that then an entrepreneur will then say, right, maybe you said, like, yeah, but if I don't, then this happens and that happens and this happens and then the house burns down. My question to you then, but does it burn down? Does it really? Like, is it really going to because you, you didn't do that? Right. And so really ask yourself, for example, Clubhouse, Clubhouse. So I have an Android phone, right? So Clubhouse came really popular and it was like, oh yeah, you, only need, you need an iPhone to get it done. Now, there are people who like, oh, I'm gonna get myself an iPad so I can get this, this, on, this on this platform, right? Here's the thing about me. In my life in general, though, I don't really follow trends. Um, I'm very much someone who's like, okay, what are my goals? What are my intentions? And then how does the, this new thing, whatever it is, relate to my goal and my intention, right? So with that being said, for example, when Clubhouse came out and I didn't have the, the iPhone, I was like, you know what? I guess I wasn't meant to be on this platform because they don't have it for Android. Now, though, they have for Android, right? As of like, what, last week or so? But essentially, at the time, they didn't have it. But I was hearing about it. I was feeling the buzz. I was doing all that jazz, right? Cool, right? I was hearing about it. But for me and my business, there were still things that were happening that were still working, right? And that is the way that you should really think, really think about all those new things that you're adding to your business so that you avoid being in this space again, right? Is really thinking about reconsidering when you're telling yourself that you should or you need or you must or it, it has to, right? Really consider and d- dig deep into yourself, right? Is everything that you're doing actually meant to be done, right? And a key thing that you can do to help that happen is a time audit, right? A time audit of your business and your life to help you really understand is what you're doing, everything that needs to get done, right? And before adding something new, ask yourself, but should I? Do I need to? Right? That's what you're asking yourself. Okay, so that's refine. Option one is to refine. Now, let's say you've already done that. You're like, but Vanessa, I've already dug deep into my business. Option two, reproduce. <laughs> what I can marry, I don't mean like having a child, right? To your business. But essentially, right, get some more hands, right? Get some more hands and get some more time. So what do I mean by reproduce? Hire someone else, essentially, right? Have someone join you on your team. Maybe it's not an official hire. Maybe it's a friend, a family member. But essentially, hire someone else, right? And the thing is that a key component to understand here when you're thinking about hiring other people is whether or not you're going to hire a specialist, like someone who's like, you know, you want, you want someone to do social media marketing, so you get a social media marketing person and you've done it before. Or you get someone who you need to train. So maybe someone who's never done it before. Maybe it's like a college person that wants to get into it. Or maybe it's your 10-year-old cousin, right? Or whatever it may be. Or your 10-year-old nephew or niece or your, your 10-year-old child, right? Your 10-year-old daughter or son, right? Maybe they've never done it before, but you're willing to train them, right? But so really a key component to consider when you're hiring someone is whether or not you want to do a specialist or someone you train. Now, why is that key? Because if you're a patient person, then yes, it makes sense for you to get someone that, you know, you then train. But I'm giving you an example of what does training mean? Training does not mean you give them a link to your website, you have a 10 minute conversation and then off to the, no, off they go. That's not how that works, right? No, no, no. But when you are saying, okay, this person I'm hiring has limited to zero experience, but I want them to be successful in my business then you are training them, right? Think about what you do for your day job, right? You are training them. So for example, right? I remember last fall, I hired three three people to join my sales team. I, I had my business and I had my day job at the same time. And, but essentially my business, the poorly planned, the pivot we were doing and the growth that we were having, I was like, okay, I'm gonna hire these three people, right? But essentially in hiring those three people, I also made time in my calendar to train them, one hour a day, but here's what happened. Ended up being three hours each day, right? For five days. But also when I made time, I was like, okay, you know what? This is what it is. But here's the thing. I also made time. I made time on my calendar, but also made time in my mind, right? Prepping that, you know, they were going to have questions, right? Like people, you don't train people for like a day and then they just don't have questions, right? It's you train them, you get them primed, but then as they go through the actual process of doing the work and the responsibility, questions will naturally come up. Right. And so or they will ask for feedback, or all those other things. Right. But it's a whole process when it comes to training people. And so and but because I'm a great at training, you know, I asked them for feedback at the end. They're like, I love the onboarding. It's so amazing. You're all so clear. All that jazz. Right. But the thing is that the training continues in the beginning, but also even throughout. Right. The first 
but maybe you if you recently right maybe you started a new job it's like what they say like the 90 days right first 90 days or so right if you've been in that space and so when you think about re the reproduce option right and you're hiring someone else really consider if you're doing a specialist person or someone who you're willing to train right because not only does that affect your time and energy but also it also affects your money right the person who's a specialist is probably going to cost a little bit more right so keep that in mind too option three right so we went through option one you're, you're stretching yourself too thin option one you refine you dig deep into your business and really see is everything that you're doing really needs to get done right do like a time audit for example option two there are many other ways you can do you can like make this assessment but a key way is also doing a time audit right okay option two reproduce <laughs> Right, stretch yourself, stretch your time, stretch your energy, right? Stretch your hands. You have two hands, you stretch them out, right? And so reproduce in terms of hiring someone, whether that be a specialist or someone that you are thinking about training, right? And then option three is reset. When we think about reset, what does reset mean? Reset means a new way of doing things, right? So really consider a new way of doing things. And so a new plan. With the revised marketing and sales process and so whether or not this either be monthly or quarterly we're really thinking through what is a like maybe you have to like revisit that quarterly plan that you did right and or maybe sometimes it's like revisiting a new plan other times it's revisiting a new process right so for example i had one client where you know for her it was revisiting how she was doing her payment options she was taking in payment options from like 10 different sources from, from like clients, right? And because of that, first of all, she wasn't able to be organized with her financial management process and her business, but also she was like losing track of things, right? And so it was just like, oh, something would come in and she was like, oh, I don't know. But then she would be like, oh, but did I get the money from here? I don't know, because I, you know, she had to go through all these different platforms and the whole situation. And so for her, resetting meant going from, you know, 15 different payment options to then bringing it down to two options and those are the options that her clients and customers had, right, for her. And so is there some way for you in your process, whatever it is, however it is that you're doing things, right, the how of what you're doing things, is there a way for you to reduce that, right? Really think about that for yourself. So option one, in terms of avoiding stretching yourself too thin, option one is refining. So that is looking at what you're doing and switching up what you're doing. Option two is reproducing, right? So that is, okay, you're doing it by yourself, but could you expand and do it as someone new? So the how, right? Option three is also another how. So there's a resetting, a new way of doing things, right? So whether it be a new plan in general or essentially just a new process in general too. It's like, whether it be changing payment systems, it could be just the way that you onboard people, offboard people, the way that you shipping and delivery, right? I know some clients where for them in the e-commerce space, they are, before they were delivering, you know, in person, right? And now they're like, nope, you are getting delivery online. It is a whole process, like, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Or I was delivering every day, now I just deliver on these dates, the end, boop, bye, right? And so is there a way essentially that resetting a new way, a new process that you can implement so that you can ensure that you were taking care of yourself, right? Now for all three of these options, do not do all of them at once, right? Yes, choose which one is right for you, right? I wanna see in the comments, even if you're watching the replay, right? what is the option that you're going to go for right do you think that you are ready to you need to refine what you're doing you need to expand your team and reproduce right hire someone else to join the team or you need to reset right a new process or a new way of doing things and it starts with before you can even answer and decide which of those options it starts with that first question that i asked in the beginning right in terms of what are you finding is taking up most of your time and energy outside of your day job okay so the thing is that you choose one option, right? One of the options, be fine, reproduce, or reset. And, and like, and hey, some of you may not be open to hiring someone else. Guess what? That's not the option you're gonna choose. That's it, right? So you choose one option as your next step, and then you do it. So are you gonna refine, reproduce, and reset? I wanna hear in the comments. And also let me know if you have any questions as well, too, even if you're watching a replay. Here's the thing: growth of your business should not stop you. Unfortunately, though, it is, right? It's making you overwhelmed. You're like, OMG, I cannot believe it. Now you're telling yourself, you know you know what, I just need to stick to where I was, right? I don't need to, I shouldn't go any further. I shouldn't go any beyond because, you know, it's getting, getting bigger is, is coming to overwhelming, right? That's the fear of success coming into play, by the way, people, in case you didn't realize, that's the fear of success coming into play, right? Where you're keeping yourself small. You're playing small, you're staying small. Here's the thing, 
You might be like, but Vanessa, this is not small. It's actually pretty big. I've gotten to like 10K a month or 5K a month or whatever, right? And yes, it feels big because it's bigger than where you were last year, perhaps, right? But I'm telling you, it's small, right? And here's the thing. You know it's small too because you know the success, the success that is coming your way, you know is bigger than what it is right now. But it's easier for you to stay in the comfort zone, the comfort of like, you know, yeah, you know what? Things weren't as overwhelming when I was just here in this this level right here. You know, let me just go backwards, right? You don't go backwards in your business. Keep moving forward, but do it efficiently and effectively, right? So use these three options to either decide if you're going to need to refine what you're doing, reproduce and expand your team, right? Or essentially do a re do a whole nother reset, do a whole nother reset in what it is what you do with your business, right? We've been doing a lot of mindset, self-care, mental wellness topics in May because it is Mental Health Awareness Month. But make no mistake, right? Although May is over, if you're watching this in June or July, comment below with hashtag replay. Shout out to you. But also know that mental wellness rules still apply, right? It's a year round thing. It's a business round thing. It's a life round thing, right? Do not just stop being aware and ensuring that you're showing up for yourself and your business in May, right? It's all year. Generational wealth and financial freedom is not one month, right? Entrepreneurship is a marathon and you are in this for a lifetime. Am I right? You're in this for a lifetime. So if you, this resonated with you, this topic resonated with you, if you have found yourself touching yourself too thin and you're ready for support and getting you to really refine and get down to you know, either refine, reproduce or reset your business, right? And get you to the place where you are optimizing your impact and income without all the headaches, and the migraines and all the things, right? If you are ready to take that next step to underwhelm your overwhelm, then by all means, I'm offering a free underwhelm your overwhelm business session available. You can find time. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it in here. You can find time here, right? I put a link at the bottom of the screen, power.vzambi.com. And I'll also copy and paste as well too into the comments at some point in time. And if you would like to schedule time for my free Underwhelm Your Overwhelm business session, then message me, you know, on Facebook or LinkedIn, or just find the links right here. There you go. Bam. Put in all the comments. There we go. Right. And then we are, are we happy to connect with you and touch you in these sessions. What do we do together? In these sessions, we essentially will really uncover the unnecessary business to do's that are holding you back. Right. We're going to uncover and dive deep into what's holding you back from multiplying your business revenue and your income thus far. Right. We'll do a path forward on how to grow your profit producing purpose driven business, even with all the demands that life has to offer your day job, your family, your volunteer responsibilities, all the things in between. Right. Because you are the core of your business and we need to ensure that you are taking care of business while also taking care of life. Right. Your business should not be running you. You should be running your business. So let's get you unstuck. Let's get you under. Let's get you not overwhelmed. Right. So underwhelming your overwhelm. And you know what? Hey, at the end of the day, it's time for you to stop talking to yourself in the mirror, wishing you had a sounding board, right? Stop wishing for the sounding board. Your sounding board is right here. And that's Danny. Hello. Right. So if you're finding yourself too overwhelmed to do anything, you stretch yourself too thin, you want to, you maybe you find yourself, you want to do a collaboration with someone, but you don't have the time and energy, right? And you might be seeing that steep into your relationships with your friends and your family. And you're finding yourself, you know, you don't have time to do that thing for your friend. You don't have time to help your kids out or your spouse, you know, and you're, guess what? All that is unproductive. You are doing your mission and your life and your business a disservice. And so it is time for you to hop off the headache bus, okay? I, I was having a conversation with somebody the other day, and they were like, oh, you know, I was like, how is your business going? They're like, oh, you know, the usual, you know, the headaches and stuff. It's the usual. And I was thinking to myself, like, since when did headaches become usual? Like, that is not okay, right? Like, you should not be like, oh, yeah, just the, the usual headaches of business. Just, you know, my head hurts, but just some ass. Like, no, like, no, not at all. That's not how you should be running your business nor your life, right? And that is not what entrepreneurship is about. That's not why you entered entrepreneurship. And that's why that's not how you should be running the marathon, right? And so if you want growth and you want cool, calm and collective growth, if you want peace, activity and prosperity, you want to stop being stuck and stagnant and really move towards freedom and prosper prosperous life, right? In a place where your business and your life are flowing together beautifully, where staying in your job is a choice rather than a necessity, right? If you're looking to underwhelm your overwhelm, and move your business forward, then let's connect. So I put the link in the comments as well to schedule time for a free Underwhelm Your Overwhelm business session. Message me as well too. Unearth, let's unearth the hidden challenges that have been holding you back from multiplying your business, revenue, and income thus far. Let's get you that path forward on growing your profit-producing, purpose-driven business without the overwhelm. 
Because yes, you were hitting that growth point and it is time for us to keep moving forward. Not go backwards, don't play small, right? But say yes, you can to being big. So with that being said, for those who have scheduled time, I look forward to connecting with you further. And for everyone else, chat with you next week for the next episode of Entrepreneurship is a Marathon. Every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, live on Facebook. Invite a friend. Happy to have them here. Set that weekly alarm on your calendar as well, too. So you are reminded to show up here, right? 9 p.m. Eastern every single week. And oh, yes, my lobster story. So I had lobster this past weekend. Went out to brunch with a friend and went to this place, right? And had some lobster. And so I'm not really a lobster person. So I definitely like watched a YouTube video on like how to, you know, cut the lobster or whatever. I'm gonna do a post about this um, probably at some point in time. But in summary, I conquered the lobster. Folks. I conquered the lobster and my friend admired my determination to conquer this lobster and get all the meat from all the nooks and crannies. I'm gonna do a post about that. But essentially as determined as I was to conquer this lobster, is it's just as how determined you need to be to get to your next chapter in your business, right? You need to ensure that you're moving forward. You need to ensure that you are either, we talk about today, right? Tonight. Refining, reproducing, or resetting your business. One of the three options. Those are your three options in order for you to stop stretching yourself too thin, right? To solve for that and ensure that you are continuing to move forward in peace, productivity, and prosperity for your business. And with that being said, chat with you again next week, Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Chat soon. Bye.